falling for rehab I wanna relax Girl, you understand my needs and I believe that Detox and revamp Things you do with your hands You know I need that Need that rehab Men do not like us Um, be alone that's really the only other option. Just be alone, look in the mirror, sit with yourself, cry, have an ego death, and then get really hot, get a bunch of hobbies, be extremely successful, and write a fucking book or something. Just be alone. Oh my God. It is so much better than being with someone who fucking hates your ass. You know who doesn't have to hate you? You, you don't have to hate yourself. You can work on that relationship and it'll be so fulfilling. The journey of it too, of loving yourself, is really fulfilling. Just be alone. He hates you and they hate us. Stop trying to make it work. Sadly, what she's saying is actually true because it's getting that way. We're almost approaching 2030 and every single year it just seems like it's getting worse and worse in the dating market. And women like her who had at least a small kernel of options that she thought would be potential princes and not frogs and whatever she had in the back of her delusional man mind this unicorn guy this build a nigga and she's not having success with that so the cold hard reality is starting to slap her in the face and she might just end up having to do what she doesn't want to do which is what she just mentioned you know don't date you know don't get married don't don't be with men you know just get hot write a book live your life get your bag and it's like, you're getting hot for what? A bag is not going to help you. Writing a book is not going to help you. What, are you just going to turn into Oprah? <laughs> and she can't even get nobody to take her serious because she's not attractive. The money doesn't matter. But her getting hot for what? What is the point of getting hot? <laughs> for men that she still won't be able to get. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Absolutely hilarious how modern women think. I am single and I'm happily single and I'm single by choice. Stop the cap. <laughs> And let me tell you why this dating culture, this dating scene, especially in Australia, it is it's so bad. Don't know what's wrong with men these days. Like there is good ones out there and respectful um ones out there, but I think it's just the biggest turn off, right? Also, when you're texting a guy and they send you a winky face, the minute you send me a winky face or this face, you know the one that's like little cheeky? Nah, we're done. We're done. We are done. That is a weird it's not like it's all about it's just weird like just stop all right so if that's actually how you really feel about men then stop making videos about men stop announcing to the world that you are single by choice and you're happily single stop talking about how men try to communicate with you and you shoot them down dead in the water because you think you have options and this build a ninja and the way that a man should approach you is just stuck in your head and you think that that's how it should be perfect like that which is not then you know the best bet for you just like a lot of you modern women especially in western countries like australia you might as well just do this buy a dog and die alone so i have a question and this is a genuine question i'm not even asking for a friend asking i am the friend are people getting asked out on dates in real life because it literally just occurred to me i was in sainsbury's and there was a guy next to me and i thought oh like how cute would it be if he was to ask me out and then i honestly realized that i don't think I, can't, I literally can't remember the last time I've been asked out. And I actually think in London, I've probably been asked out in real life like twice in the whole time I've been here. And I've been here for like a really long time. I also don't have guys slide into my DMs. I've got people that I've never met before that live in different countries spamming me with nice stuff, which if that is you, thank you because that is a confidence boost I needed in my day. But like, I don't actually have people that maybe I've met or friend of a friend or someone that lives in the area being like, hey, um, random book, would you like to go for a drink? Like, is this happening to other people or is it just me that's a failure? Well, I'll actually give it to you. At least you can actually admit that you're failing in dating. But what's happening to this woman right here, there's probably a few things that she doesn't notice that's going on. And a lot of women are turning up invisible to the point where they're single and men are not approaching. Men have stopped approaching women. 
So, of course, women have this dream. They have this concept like her in her head. And she's like, wouldn't it just be nice if a guy would just walk up to me, approach me, find me attractive, and possibly, you know, want to talk to me, get to know me, and all those things? Because this is what women crave ultimately. But what's happening is it, the dating market has just gone so bad in the West that a lot of guys are just not trying. And if they do try to hit you up, they're probably going to try to compartmentalize something and try to get sex out of you. Or if you turn out to be a sweet girl or whatever, they might give you a date, but then you might go off the rails because you probably haven't been approached or talked to in so long. And when women stop dealing and messing with men for so long, what ends up happening is they start to hoard the man. So if the man tries to leave or they get into an argument, it's going to be catastrophic because they don't want to lose their opportunity. But then they're like, you know what? I can go back to being alone because women don't know what they want. Women shuffle and go left and right, back and forth. I don't need him. I need him. I don't need him. He needs me. I know I need him. It's always like that. But yeah, to her, is it just you? No, it's happening all over the world in the West, particularly with women that have been, you know, spoon fed, you know, being single. You don't need a man, feminism and all that other garbage. You know, that idea about men not competing against other men for women, men are competing against the woman being on her own, right? You're competing against me. Uh, I just experienced that firsthand. Uh, a guy who I've been on a couple dates with, he had a few red flags that I ignored because I was bored and horny, um, wanted to come over. And uh, I had just set up, I had just sat down, ready to watch Netflix by myself with my apples and cheese from Trader Joe's, a salad, uh, 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 my chocolate covered pretzels, and very content to to eat my dinner and he says oh I'm, i'll be over there in 30 minutes and i was like okay no, 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 no. like can you maybe come like later and he started giving me shit and uh and then i said you know what i'm good i'm good i'm still kind of like bored and horny he probably could have come over after but you know what you are competing against me you're competing against against my Trader Joe's apples and my peace watching Netflix by myself. I don't want you in my space. I don't want you to come over. You give me shit, you don't get to come over because I'm perfectly content being by myself. First of all, ma'am, you absolutely sabotage your own situation right here because you prioritize your food, your temporary uh, dopamine hit, a movie for something that you can only seem to get in a sexual situation, which is a man. Men will only take you serious as you know you being a situation ship and that's what's hilarious about this and then the simple fact that she says that, she says that uh it's not men and men versus the women it's men against me no men are not against you men are just done and men are only using you compartmentally for sexual access that's it they're not taking you serious whatsoever and that's the thing she's just living being a pump and dump for the rest of her days and she's cool with that until she slams straight into the wall, meaning she's not going to have as many options in the next few years as she has now. And they're going to dwindle. And then she's going to just be buying cheese, crackers, wine, uh, having cats, plants, dogs, hamsters. You got know what I'm saying? Jackhammer 6000s, the magic bullet and all types of funny smelling lubrication somewhere in her top desk drawer. But. She doesn't realize that. She just sabotaged her situation because she thinks that she still has options for D. But men actually win in this situation because men win when we have sex. Women lose when they don't get a relationship. She's playing the game backwards, man. Way to go, feminism. Let's get ready for some sleep. Oh. Oh. So please somebody tell me the point of having actual hair and then you put your hair under some type of net to put somebody else's hair on top of your head.
but you grow long. At, no wonder dudes are leaving the West. No wonder dudes are pumping and dumping these women. No wonder they're just leaving these women to their own devices. There's, there's just no wonder. Like, I don't even have to, like, even think about it anymore. I don't even have to analyze it and go on a long rant anymore. I don't. I really don't. I don't understand this. And just like that other example that the woman gave, she says, you know how it used to be men versus men for us, but now it's us versus them. In this situation, it's actually... It's ridiculous. It's the women versus the women to compete with each other, but to be single, lonely, and get smashed by the dude, the top dudes, and never get commitment from them. Like, who's winning in that situation? Like, this also goes to show you, and it just also demonstrates how crazy it is that women don't think long term. They think very short sighted. So, if their plans are something that's short term and they accomplish that goal, what is after? They don't know. They tend to go to the next trend. Men, we think further along the line. We think in the future. Women think now, what they can get now. That's crazy, man, how they move. But yeah, this is nuts, bro. This is absolutely ridiculous. But hey, <laughs> man, I'm surprised I'm not losing hair making these videos, but I got to do it, man. I got to do it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like the video, sub to the channel. We'll post notifications on because I'm pretty much posting a video every single day. Comment your thoughts in, into the comment section for the algorithm to get these videos pushed out. So I'm going to get back up to cooking this content that you guys love. I love you all. You already know what it is. Bounty Villains up. Mastodon's down. Let's get it. Let's go. We hit 40K. 100K on the way. I love you all. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to get back to work. Peace.